a bit too long ago. A light wind start for race one here with the lightnings and not everybody on the line. Over here in Mission Bay, away from the 420s and lasers. Boat two coming off the line first. That's Corbin Kirk sailing with Michael Dahl and Daniel Sagerbloom. They are one of the favorites here at the Sears Cup. It's a five-legged course. Windward lured, windward lured, finish upwind. Kirk splitting with the fleet, digging in way to the left while the whole fleet has tacked over and going right. We'll see if that pays off or if uh, that great start is going to be wasted. So here they come from the left and no, it's not paying off. Kirk ducking Mahoney there. Mahoney to leeward, O'Connell to windward as they approach this mark and now O'Connell Slam dunking Kirk. Okay. My mistake, that's actually Scott Hoffman sailing with Evan Hoffman and Reese Burnett okay. in boat eight. Um, leading well, around the windward mark. Shoot coming but, up. Um, so Shaking out the uh, twist there, and they're underway. Kayaker You're narrowly good. escaping the fleet. You're good. And Corbin Kirk has worked into second. Okay. So Kirk, not totally out of it here. Okay. Cool. Here's O'Connell. That sounds awesome. Next I'll, around I'll is Mike Carr, skippering. And here's Mahoney. All right, thank you. Sailing high. Interesting there, Mike Carr, the only one to go around the uh, blue and white flag. I don't know if that's a mark of the course or not. But they are the only one who has done that. Dylan Vogel is next around, coming around the mark now. Uh, Steven Nilsson. And now the rest of the fleet. Jacob White. Kate Anderson. And two more boats here. We've got Mitchell Woodrow and Nick Harris. Boat number four, my car, the only boat to have rounded the top mark, sails beyond the gate, tries to finish, just heard a hail of protesting the race committee. So the competitors do seem a little bit confused. Course two is a windward lured twice around with an upwind finish, not a two-legged course. Race committee abandoning the race altogether after that confusion. The sailing instructions actually say that all marks will be orange tetrahedrons. And since that wasn't the case, it looks like uh, race committee is just going to abandon this one altogether. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna try it again. This is still race one, even the uh, even though we already tried. This still is race one. Five seconds left. Same numbers. This time it looks like a few more boats on the line. Once again, Corbin Kirk in boat number two, getting a very nice start down at the boat to windward of him. O.J. O'Connell down at R.N. Scott Hoffman in boat eight. In the middle there in boat four is Mike Carr. So a lot of the same names that we saw getting off the line and, and doing well in the first race, which was abandoned, uh, doing well in the redo. Here at the Sears Cup. Upwind, Mike Carr decides to split the fleet of sailboarders. There's a nice resort right around the corner from here. And so sharing the race course here with some of the tourists. Most of the fleet going right once again. One boat working on the left side here. OJ O'Connell, Kyle Seneff, and Ben Wilkinson. 
utilizing the left and now crossing most of the fleet. I don't know where they're going to end up with those boats on the far right, though. It seemed to pay in the uh, practice race we had this morning. And on the cross, that's a no. So uh, OJ O'Connell in second place now. And the first place boat, boat three, Ben Mahoney, sailing with Jack Famiglietti, uh, yeah, Famiglietti and Samantha Tornis. They round first. Looks like O'Connell has dropped to third here on this final part of the beat. Inside and ahead is Mike Carr, sailing with Scott Houck, Sammy Stagg. O'Connell, Seneff, and Wilkinson are third. Corbin Kirk, Michael Dahl, and Daniel Sagerblum are fourth. Nick Harris and crew are next. Scott Hoffman and his crew just jibed there. Dylan Vogel is next. Jacob White. And in front of us here, Steven Nelson. Next is Mitchell Woodrow. And still on the course here, Kate Anderson. Wow, with the delay this morning in the abandoned race, it's time for us to go and check out the other course. So that's the way we're going to leave it for race number one. We'll check back tomorrow with more racing here at the Sears Cup.